What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here and welcome to my Top 10 Tweaks Part 11 video. So this is what jailbreaking is all about, finding all of these new and cool tweaks and applying them to your device after freeing him. So this is the latest batch, there's some really awesome ones in this video and I can't wait to share those with you guys. Now you guys of course will need to be jailbroken, you can do that here. The good news is there's a new jailbreak for Mac that is available now on the latest firmware so you guys can go ahead and jailbreak your devices. If you're new to jailbreaking, these are an awesome collection of tweaks I'm going to be showing you in this video. And first off, you guys will need sources. So in order to get the sources, the full tweak list, and I'll throw in some bonus sources, click right there to go to my website or it's down below in the description, the link. And I'll have all of these tweaks I'm mentioning in this video there, as well as all the sources and a few bonus ones I'll throw in as well. Now these are all compatible with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, as well as the latest firmware. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and if you guys want the wallpaper I'll be using in this video, I'll put it down below in the description as well. So just click on the link. I know so many people have been asking me, but the very very first tweak I will be showing you guys is called Sphere View. Now it's just been updated for iOS 8 and it runs really good. So what it does is it just puts all of your icons into this 3D sphere and it makes for a really interesting home screen replacement. Now this reminds me a lot of the Apple Watch UI that we've seen in several formats, the you know Eternum, Watch Board. So this is a really cool one. Now you can actually interact with it like this. You can zoom in you can zoom out and it's very fluid. It works very nice, especially on the six and six plus. And there are some pretty cool settings I wanna show you guys. So in here, a setting I would recommend is actually enabling rounded icons. And if you want hide labels, it actually makes for a nicer effect. But anyways, there are a few settings you can mess with in here, view settings, notifications, uh, recent apps. So you can mess around with this. I'm gonna go ahead and respring this guy. So with the changes enabled, this is what it looks like now. So I think this is the best look for it. No labels and rounded icons, and it actually looks really cool. I mean, if anyone's gonna look at your device, it's gonna be like, whoa, what is that? What's going on with your iPhone? I mean, this is just so different from what people are used to seeing. Now, this in Eternum, probably one of the coolest interfaces you could do to your home screen. Now, one of the things that this tweak also offers is this little dock down below. So it'll show you the applications that have notifications and you can group them down here. You can choose to hide it like I did earlier. I personally don't like it very much, but it helps you actually find those applications with the notifications. So Sphere View, definitely not for everybody, but I think it's a neat little interface for your Apple device. Now, when I did open up settings a little bit ago, you guys may have noticed that there is something different and that's that the icons on the left over here are all circular and that's called circle icons. All it does is just changes the icons on the left into this circle image. And honestly, I think it looks really nice. This seems like it does fit into iOS 8. And if I were to guess the theme of iOS 9, it's going to be rounded. It's going to revolve a little around the Apple Watch. So we're going to see more roundness come to iOS with iOS 9. Now there's next to no settings in here. All you can do is change them to default or circle, or you can remove all the icons altogether if you don't even want to see them there. But you know, that's all it is. Now another difference in my settings, if you guys didn't notice it already, is that the switch color over here is different. Now on standard iOS 8, when something is enabled, it's a green color like this. So in order to change that, here's a tweak called Tinge, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. So it's a really cool one. You can mess around with it just a little bit. Let me go ahead and show you what it offers. So inside, I don't really know what's going on over here. It looks like a mess, but anyways, you can enable it with that. And then when you choose the color, this is the color that displays when the button is selected. So it's at red right now. Um, no, stock iOS is green. Let's set it maybe to yellow. Okay, and as you guys can see right there, the changes are instant. You can also change the color when the switch is not selected. So let's say black. So when I turn this guy off, as you can see, it turns to black. Now, it's kind of cool, black and yellow. Anyways, so that's Tinge. Just change the colors of switches on iOS 8. Next up here is Speed Intensifier. And just as the name suggests, this pretty much makes your iOS experience feel a lot faster. So if your device is lagging, it just doesn't feel as fast as it used to. Speed Intensifier can help remedy that. So in particular, opening up applications feels you know a lot faster. Now this is on the very fastest setting. It removes all animations. So you know, you're just there or you're not there. Just opening up applications it removes the animation for it so they actually do open up faster you don't actually have to see the animation for opening up an application so it does make sense that it would open faster now you have your simple settings right here and i have it right here on the fastest setting possible and believe it or not it actually does make a difference now you can do it system-wide not just opening up applications there's a lot of little settings in here and if you want to get really technical here's the spring you know the stiffness there's a lot of settings in here as well that you can play with i actually haven't done any of these but 
I prefer without any animations at all because it actually does open and close faster. So look, I'm in, I'm out. Cool. I mean, it removes any lag. You're just there or you're not there. Anyways, speed intensifier makes your device feel faster. Now, here's a tweak you guys might learn to love in the future. It's called Oops Lock. And if you guys lock your device, go back into a lot, here's how it works. So if you lock your device and you're like, hey, oh man, I still need to do something, and you actually go back in, press the home button, it'll log you in, bypassing the password completely. Now I have mine set to five seconds, so I, let's say I'm sending a text message, I lock it, and I get a text message right away, and I just wanna go right into that app, just press the home button, and it'll actually take you straight into it, bypassing the lock screen and saving you some time. So just as the name suggests, oops, oh, I gotta get in real quick, just press that home button and it'll take you in. Now inside, here are the settings. And as you can see, I still have the tweak enabled. But anyways, in here, you can adjust the reaction time. So if you wanna set it to longer or the least amount of time, you can do that as well. Really cool. I mean, this is a tweak that could save you a lot of time over time, but there you go. So that's called Oops Lock for iOS 8. This guy is nothing new, but I thought it's about time that I did show you guys how to do this. So if you guys want to change your boot logos, you can do that using Animate for iOS 8. Now you guys can download many packs from Cydia. There are so many to choose from and make sure you guys get the HD versions for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. But right now I currently have the Nintendo 64 boot logo enabled. And I'm gonna show you guys my favorite one in a second here and show you how it works. So all you guys have to do is install this. Now take note, after installing this, you do need to respring or reboot your device. Otherwise it won't show up in settings. I mean, for me anyways, it didn't. But one of my favorite ones is the glitch. And that's right here, glitch boot. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart my device and show you how this works. And I do have BioProtect enabled, so it doesn't let me turn off my device without my fingerprint. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn my device on. Now, the only thing I don't like about this tweak is that initially when you turn your device on, it doesn't show the boot logo until you actually go through it a bit. And here is the glitch. I really like this one. Now, there's another variant where it's even worse and it just you know spazzes out, but basically install boot logos for a brief duration on your device. I mean, the newer your device is, the less you're gonna see it. Animate for iOS 8 installs many boot logos. There's many choices inside of Cydia to choose from. Now here's Doc Roll, and the reason I like it is because no one's done it before. Basically, bring animations to your dock on iOS 8. Now that's the opening sequence. You guys can actually rotate through your icons just like that. Now the cool thing about this tweak is that it's very useful if you put a lot of applications down below in the dock so you can actually cycle through them. Now there are several settings for it. You can actually disable startup animation, which I actually don't like, but anyways, in the dock mode, there's several to choose from here. The wheel, and I can actually show you guys just like this. So there's the wheel right there. There's flip, flippy. Or so they just flip like that. Here's cylinder. So it's a nice little 3D effect. Here's cover flow, and this is actually really cool. Here's misty flip. Now this works better the more applications you have inside, but it's really fluid and it works very well. And the last one I'll show you guys is time machine. So it kind of just fades in like that. Anyways, super cool dock roll for iOS 8. Bring animations to your dock. Here's NC browser. So inside of your notifications, you now have a fully featured browser. You can't set presets for the home screen, which mine is at Google right now, but you can access the full browser inside of your notifications menu. Say you're browsing something and you need to use Safari now, that this isn't sufficient enough, you can click right here and it'll open up in Safari if you so choose. Uh, it's a really cool one, but I honestly don't know why you would need it in the first place. The only use I can think of is if you're on the lock screen and you don't want to go in all the way. It's called NC Browser, and it brings a fully featured browser into your notifications menu. Now, here's a tweak that should have been included already, but it's not. It increases the functionality of your device. It's called Cache Clear. And anyways, whenever you go into your usage, so in your storage, you can see individual applications that take up a certain amount of memory on your device, say Facebook for me. In here, you can see how much memory that Facebook app does take up. Now documents and data 43 megabytes, you can clear all of that data using this right here. So if some applications are taking up a lot of memory on your device with some cached files, you can actually clear them in here. Now here's one example where I did clear up just two megabytes, but sometimes applications will actually take data, store it on your device. And this tweak just gives you the ability to go ahead and take that data and clear it, free up some system memory. And for the last tweak, this is called Walmart. Now this is a feature I wanted Apple to really include in the official version of iOS, but it allows you to cycle between wallpapers every single time you either shut down your device, respring it, or just turn the power off. So 
There you go. If I turn it back on, it cycles wallpapers for you. And same thing for the actual home screen. So I think it's really cool. Keep iOS 8 fresh. Always cycles your wallpaper. Sometimes I keep one wallpaper for so long and this just gives your device some breathing room. Called Walmart for iOS 8 and no has no affiliation with Walmart whatsoever. And guys, there you have it. That's the next top 10 tweaks. Now, tweaks are getting rarer, smaller, you know, less functional over time. And that's to be expected because all of the good ones have already been made. Now, in the future with iOS 8.2, we can expect a lot of cool things. What if the Apple Watch can get a jailbreak or something of the sort? How cool would that be? Anyways, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching this video. The entire list can be found down below of all of the tweaks I used in this video. If you want the wallpaper, grab it there as well, as well as some bonus tweaks and the sources. Otherwise, check out the other videos in this series. I have so many on my channel and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Anyways, enjoy the tweaks. Have a great day. Peace.